Hi, everybody. I hope you're well installed on your chair because today it's the poster 588 and we are August 10. So let's write it on the template I previously made August. Then remove that ugly 2020 like usually. I should change the template really. 2020 and here we are. So let's select the brain and import it by drag and drop the image on the application on the Photoshop app. Here we are. Oh, the brain. So let's start. I make it smaller. I want it smaller this time. I put it in the middle. Yeah, with the align uh, tool, is uh, it is more precise. So here you are. So what do I want to do? I don't know. I will try stuff today because I have no idea. So I starting to search something for nothing. Come on. I uh, select this area. Command C, Command V. Oh, I you see it is. It looked like a glitch. Up, oh, Command T, and I dr drag. The anchor point of the transformer tool down. Totally down? Yeah, why not? There. Double click return. Push return. You should go behind, maybe. Command O to see the wall uh, canvas. Oh, looks like a super brain. <clears throat> Let's go crazy onto this poster. I eat the keyboard, the keyboard M on the computer. And he's searching something again. I select a square of the brain. Like there, command C to copy and paste it. Stone filters, um, pixelate mosaic one hundred three pixel looks not that bad, but they are too small. No. Yeah, looks good. Filter mosaic work on progress. Work in progress. Okay, okay. Here we are. I want to get it by half or not by half. So I select uh, the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool. I maintain the shift, uh, shift keyboard touch to make it a uh, 45 degree angle. 
and copy and I paste. Oh, I should remove it. Tech, paste, done. I want you to look a little bit bigger, just a little bit. Take care when you do that because uh, it's rasterized. You will see pixel. It's funny, it's already pixel pixelate. pixelated. Up, up, uh. <coughs> uh, let's set a back a black background to see what happens. I'll come on. No, 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 no. Command the U, uh, no, U, only U to select the the shape to black. <coughs> Oh, it'll take hours today, I think. Maybe not. Ah. Hmm. No, finally white is a much better option. Let's duplicate that uh, speed effect there <coughs> apply another time the mosaic filters and play with the with the shape by copy paste and uh, remove some Put it on the back of the speed effect. But take a square there. Remove it. Paste. Hmm, looks weird. So, just have to remove it. But I want the the side of it there, or their transparency, because I like it. Select the brand one more time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Copy paste. <laughs> Repeat the operation one more time. Select another part of the brain. Copy paste it again. Maybe you should go on the top. So let's say 120% to make it bigger. So <coughs> maybe I should add some shadows. Let's do it by select the layer thumbnail with the command and click on it to select what inside layer. I hit B keyboard. 
select the color of the brain and I paint you cannot see it because it's uh, it's the layer under but it is there look back up down deselect filter filter blur Gaussian blur oh no battery doing doing 79 yeah yeah and repeat the process with the other part of the brain oh I paint, deselect, filter, Gaussian blur. This one is done. New layer, select, P, paint, deselect, filter, Gaussian blur. Oh. Maybe I want to move it just a little bit. Yeah, it give a sense of uh, dimension, and that's good. That's good for poster. Um, yeah, let's write the title there somewhere. Goal brain number number nine yeah only one poster to make with this gold brand and after it's done let's track this longer the leading to Set the paragraph line in the middle called brand nine. Set it over the brain. Oh, what am I doing on the layer panel? No, 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 no. Don't want that. I want the font bigger there. And um, yeah, I want the font bigger so i do it more space there I, yeah i hit command t to transform it faster i want bigger typeface there up done or not let's apply this transformation transform progress you have to wait gold brand number nine the color is totally not okay let's select the white color Point is too too bold. To expand the two maybe regular needs more leading. No, no leading tracking. Yes, yeah, it looks perfect. Like game, there is like a game between the the letters. Looks fine, looks fine. 
I think that I will set a shadow to them too. But I have to be sweet. I don't want a uh, so visible shadow there. It's too obvious. I want it more more sweet. So filter gauche uh, blur gauche and blur. 79 pixel will be too much. Twelve can be okay. We're in progress again. Come on. Don't only have that to do there. Yeah. They appear a little bit better. So, so um, I want to add uh, some scene rectangles here. White rectangle, please, to accentuate the the sense of uh, speed. Yeah, the effect there. Don't know how to call that. Different size, different uh, thickness. That's too big. This shadow is pretty disturbing, visually speaking. Let's integrate it better in the brain. So, Command T, Control, Warp. I will integrate uh, this shadow on the brain only. So, I try to spruce the, the shape of the brain. Try to make something which look like a circular, <coughs> circular shape. Yeah, because on the white, it don't look that nice, and I don't want it appear there. Okay, come on on the layer panel. Up. Oh. And I have to duplicate it. Hey, come on. And duplicate it there. 
No, it should be over the rectangle still. Yeah. And I simply erase. I have to select the square. Oh no, it's not what I want to do. Okay, I need a bigger size. <coughs> That's big enough. No, should not erase on this layer. I have to erase the shadow on the shadow layer, of course. Wow, take time. Come on. Go up, go up. Here you are. Ah, it's, it's too long, take too much time. So for the shadow, the same, of course, select it. E on the keyboard to select the, the eraser. No, 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 no. It will be a bit uh, more complicated to erase this shadow there. So, oh no, no. Don't transform that, I deselect. I only try to select the brain shadow. No, I select the brain shadow. Warp. I try to go down there. But not so much. Then. It's done. Yeah, um, this part of the brain is uh, on the top level of the composition. So if um, it appears shadow on the background, it's like if it's closed, close uh, like uh, this part of the, the brain, who is the most closer part near the canvas. So that's okay if you if it if the shadow goes on the canvas uh, on the white background just let sweet it a little bit because it's uh it's too strong yeah like that it's fine Let's duplicate that. Let's rasterize it. I uh, know it's already made. I just want to turn it like this. There, you will look good. Up. 
Yeah, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> mm. I know what I will do. Light gray. And I will come there to draw a big rectangle. How does it look like? Uh, behind you will feel better. Ah, it's uh, too strong. Color is too too dark. What about a lighter color? Already looks better. Eh? Still a bit strong, I think. Here we are. Uh, looks fine, looks fine. Let's add uh, some uh, other shape like that here. Hey. What are you doing there? Why did you go on the top? Why you catch me there? Ah, yeah, okay. It's done, it's done. Let's continue to add some uh, rectangles. Ah, there is no reason why I do that, just a pure uh, aesthetic. make the the canva more interesting to the view viewer eyes and it's uh, something uh, something good not bad like that so I save the file for now because uh, if Photoshop crash, it will be very boring to do it again. Uh, 43%, 44, 45, 67, 68, 71, 3, 91, 100% saved. Nice. So during this little time i got the id to do the same stuff than this uh, white rain but added on the top of it here no is it bad like that it's a very central poster everything uh, focus on the center yeah looks good looks good i think so let's continue oh yeah. for sure how to select an empty uh, area it's pretty useless 
Yeah, every time I have to select the layer, I want to take the shape off. So command C, command V to copy paste there. You know that, right? It's a very simple uh, sh shortcut that you should integrate into your brain because you will use it a lot. Empty selection again. Come on, focus. Yeah, um, about placing the element, you just have to trust your own taste. Uh, you have to avoid to align them too much because um, yeah, if the if the eyes can uh, make a, a line, it's not uh, so good idea. It will break the effect you are trying to bring to to this random shape. And um, you are on the computer. You are a human, and uh, yeah, making repetitive uh, stuff is um, relatively complicated after a moment and when you are trying to think oh this shape should go there oh no this shape should go there no yeah maybe maybe it's better there you will never finish so do it once you make it you look if it's fine or not if it's not fine you refine if it looks good it looks good and it's done. So, looks good. I hope you like it too. Okay, they like usually, there are many things to do. There are really many, many things to do to explore, but um, like I said, I have to work later. So uh, it is my warm up now, and uh, and yeah, I don't have the time. But you know what I'm thinking about? I'm making the shape behind, but uh, maybe they should go a little bit over the brain. Something that I will do right now. Just one or two, not too much. I really should put my layer, my layers into a folder. But I'm lazy sometimes, you know. I think you know what I'm talking about. Hey, where is this shape now? Where are you? Nowhere. How is that possible? What did I select? So, all the rectangle there should put you in a folder. Select that stuff there. Up. Copy, paste. I bring you back over the brain there oh you're too thin maybe yes you are too thin but i will select a bigger one up copy paste where are you? You are there around. I select the layer and I put it over the brain. Here. 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 And let's make a white one over the brain too. 
the white one. And one will go behind this area there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks good, looks good. And you are not over the brain. Yeah, you are over. Ah, okay, got it. You are over the brain there, but not over this part of the brain. So you won't show that sure. Select this one and make it over there. And yeah. Yeah. Like it? Maybe the shadows behind the, the font is too too strong so but it uh, yeah add the transparency to if i remove opacity by add transparency to the letters and looks fine so how does it look like without all these options? Command O. Remove that. Hey. Hey. Okay. Got it. This one is a way too big. Yeah, I can continue to add uh, lines uh, everywhere for uh, for hours to improve the the poster, make it more interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the ID to inspire people, to find new ways to express myself, and. Uh, that's what uh, that's what I hope. That's what I wish. Um, yeah, what can I improve now? Maybe the background. Find uh, yeah, make a layer of uh, darker gray over the lighter gray. Uh, Maybe duplicate, duplicate this, uh, this shape. Go on filter. Um, blur. Yeah. Blur. Gaussian radial. Where are you? Smart directional lens blur, motion blur, blur gallery, no, average blur, no, where are you? Motion blur, yeah. Yeah, it was that. Okay, I don't see a lot of things because uh, the angle is 90 degree and the shape there is 90 degree too, but there are uh, something is happening. I'll show you right now. After I apply the motion blur, come on Photoshop. Yeah, you make it fast. Well done. Okay, where are you? Voila, here, 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 here. Okay, maybe it's not enough. I should filter blur motion blur again and uh, increase the the number the numbers. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! What are you doing? 
yes i want to apply it again let's double it maybe much more and see what happens uh, it will look better it will look better for sure come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, yeah. That really increases the the sense of speed. Zoom. Fine. So, thank you to follow along with me on this poster number 858. I hope you like it. I hope you can take something for you from this little process it was not a too long tutorial it was uh, it was relatively fast i hope you see some techniques and um, i hope you you will feel better next time you have a white canvas and don't know what to do it's uh, always better to have some restrictions and uh, for the mini series the restrictions but the restriction was to use this uh, gold brand the render of this gold brand made in uh, blender and uh, when you have a customer it's uh, it's nice because uh, they they have a lot of uh, constraint to give you and that give you a way to follow you don't have to explore everything I mean, uh, yeah, when you have no topic, no subject, no information, you just can do everything and uh, you can design a poster while your ID and imagination are giving you stuff and never finish the poster. So work with customer is good. It's pretty good. And it's also very nice to balance it with uh, with a daily design challenge. It's uh, really pretty interesting. Uh, there are more than one year I'm doing it now. Uh, poster number 585 is a really huge number and um, I am pretty impressed by my own self because uh, when I started, I thought I, yeah, I will have all the difficulties in the world to do it. And uh, sometimes, yes, it's difficult to do it when you have no idea about uh, about what to do when you hesitate <clears throat> but um, every day i come up with um, with something new with ideas um, that really made myself uh, confident about uh, my graphic design skills all the posters are not good that's for sure but I really improve uh, improve my sense of aesthetic and uh, yeah I feel free with the software uh, I always try to dig a little deep deeper into what I can know where I can find information inspiration and um, yeah for inspiration too it's um, it's something I try to avoid uh, as much as possible because uh, whatever you do, the things you look at will inspire you. The, there will be an influence of someone in your poster, whatever you are conscious or unconscious about that, you, you will do it. And um, I try to don't look a website like Pinterest or search on Google image because I want to start something by my own self. And the most beautiful, uh, one of the most beautiful stuff I am, I made for the, for my poster is to, is when, is the day when uh, I, uh, I was in the lake of inspiration and I get the idea to to look back on my uh, 
on my previous posters and uh, I was looking at them and oh my god I did that how did I do these details there oh no and um, yeah I I was impressed by my own self and inspired by my own self and uh, that's something who looks like uh, very not selfish but uh, self uh, self something about my own self like if I'm really the if like if I think I'm the best and I was thinking it's not good but I, I inspire myself and uh, that motivate me to, to become better Okay, I should shut up. Have a nice day. Thank you. Take good care if you are under quarantine with this uh, coronavirus. Something very boring. And uh, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Come on. See you.